Stop. I know exactly what you're thinking. Why would I listen to some nobody on YouTube that just popped up on my feed and isn't actually a professional musician? Well, there's two things. One, yeah, you've yeah, you've got a point. Three, there's a lot more to it. Now, let me explain why. Being a musician versus being a professional musician are two completely different things. It takes a lot of hard work to be at the top of your craft. Have you ever heard the statement something along the lines of like, your competition is already doing it better than you? You probably also heard the, yeah, my son's actually going to Juilliard. He already went to NEC for his preparatory program. He's gonna be going to Paris in four years and he's actually going to, yeah, you name it, you've probably heard it. These two statements that I've just provided have a decent amount of truth to them. And while they can seem very intimidating, it's not the reason why you should give up on your dreams of becoming a professional musician. And I think that there's one really important factor that can help you beat the odds. And it all starts with you. I think one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you have to be able to market yourself. Some of you who may be watching my channel for the first time are probably wondering, how the heck did this guy just pop up on my YouTube channel feed? And that's a great question because I don't know. No, I'd like to say that it's because I tried to find out how I can make a significant impact on the classical music community on YouTube. I'm still trying to figure that out, but it's a constant work in progress. The main point is that I came from nothing. I made a series of YouTube videos that I thought would be enjoyable for myself to watch if somebody else made it. With that in mind, sometimes winning a competition or performing a few times across the world is not enough. There are plenty of successful pianists, cellists, viola violinists, did I say pianists? who are able to fill the greatest concert halls in the world. So what can you do to become the next world-class musician who wants to just thrill audiences across the world? You've got all of the drive and talent, but nowhere to start. I think that there are only a few ways for you to develop a career if you haven't gone down the traditional route of winning a competition or having a teacher give you some sort of platform. And one of the ways that I will be talking about in this video is through social media. To me, this honestly feels like the only quick way of being able to show the world your talent. Guys, real recognizes real. Is it sad that the ordinary Joe Schmo can play Dr. Dre or, I don't know, Jake's Golden Hour, get all the attention in the world, but then when you've got somebody who can play Liszt Liebestrom very musically, they get almost no attention? I think you get my point. Make content that's about your talent, is intriguing, and also shows off who you are. What do you want to share with your audience? What can they get with you that they can't with anyone else? These are questions that I'd be asking myself if I want to become the next soloist that's performing throughout the world. To be honest, I can think of plenty of classical musicians that I don't find very intriguing. Now, do they have to be intriguing in order for me to enjoy their actual work? No, not at all. But it does provide that extra connection for the viewer and I think it can help enhance your experience at the concert hall or wherever you are. Think about Two Set Mile In, for example. I believe that they're the epitome of this. Obviously, everyone knows that they're titans of the classical music world. They make videos that people enjoy, they're excellent violinists, and they get to travel across the world to play for thousands of people. Their path to worldwide performance is not typical, but is something that I think is more achievable if you aren't willing to go down the traditional path. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. It all started <laughs> I'm done. I'm, okay, I'm done trolling. I'm done trolling. I'm done trolling. Yes, the picture is real. Please go follow my Instagram page and go follow his. Uh, thank you. But now back to the story. When I met up with Alexander, I told him that one day I'd like to become a pianist who's good enough for performing in front of very large audiences. He gave me great advice, and the one thing that I think he reminded me of indirectly was how important it is to sacrifice many things that you do in your life in order to achieve your dreams. I think he and many others like Kobe Bryant or, I don't know, I mean, Yuja, I mean, look, the queen. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like these people put so much of their time and energy into making their dreams a reality. Now, without devolving this video into something completely different, I think the question then becomes, is it worth risking so much of your life in order to make this dream happen? I mean, I think it all depends on where you are in your life. It's important to keep in mind that becoming a concert musician who travels the world is not the only option that you have in classical music. I mean, you could become an accompanist, uh, a teacher, uh... Accompanist, a teacher... 
alchemist. At the end of the day, I wouldn't give up on my dreams, and I hope that you wouldn't too. One thing that I'd like to really just hit home with this video is that you should be doing it for yourself. Take it one day at a time. Set short-term goals. Set long-term goals. These things help you make your dreams a reality. I think that concludes my monologue for the day. As always, thank you for watching this video. I know it's been a while since I've last uploaded, and I think that this is a great way for me to get back into sitting down, chatting with you all, and making content that I enjoy doing. I'm grateful that I get to share my thoughts with so many people who have the same interest as me and I never take it for granted, so thank you everyone. I wonder, are there any paths toward becoming a top tier musician that I really haven't hit on in this video? If there are, please leave your ideas down in the comments below, I'd love to read them. As always, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye everyone. There's no doubt in my mind that I'd like to become a pianist who's capable of... What? Why is this so hard? Yes, the picture is real. Now, please go follow my Instagram page. I literally have no followers and life is all about followers now, please! I mean, I think it would be pretty stupid to give up... I mean, you could become an accompanist. I don't know. I mean, a teacher? Uh... Guys, please subscribe, please. I'm so desperate for subs.